I love these lazy Saturdays. It's Wednesday, Homer. Ah, work! <sighs> Is this all we're going to do today? You know, Homer, I'm starting to realize life is short. It is? We have to make the most of the time we have. Oh. Friends of the Library is holding an historic manuscript viewing. I'm tired of being cooped up in this house all the time. All right, I hear you, honey. Change into something nice. We're stepping out. We could find the drug boat of our dreams. I don't want a drug boat. Well, I bet there's drug dresses and drug vacuum cleaners, too. All right, listen up. L listen up. Next item up for beds. Oh, hey, look. They're selling you car, man. Oh, I will totally kill whoever buys Lil' Bandit. Sold. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm not getting back in this car until you drive like a sane person. Okay, bye. I love you. You see, the law business is a little slow, and since most of my clients wind up losing their houses, this was a natural move for me. Helping people find homes. That must be really rewarding. Gee, this hot rod is souped up six ways from Sunday. Never had you figured for a gearhead, Homer. Oh, yeah. I'm a real expert. Selling real estate could be just what I'm looking for. I'd really like to give it a try. I don't know, Marge. Trying is the first step towards failure. <clears throat> mm. So, you're married and you're looking for your first house, Mr. and Mrs... Superman. Now, I'm a veterinarian and I need to keep lots of sick animals in my house. Oh... Mm. I'll never memorize all this. When I had to learn about the Magna Carta, I made up a song. On the closing day, the escrow agents pay. Taxes, lend, and interest, too, thanks to Fannie Mae. They back your bank. You're all nuts. Mm -hmm. Easement. Time's up. You may now undermine each other's confidence. Yar, I nailed that one about houseboats, did you? I pay. Welcome to the big leagues, Marge. There's over 50 years of real estate experience right in this room. That's Cookie Kwan. She's number one on the west side. Hi, Marge. Stay off the west side. And there's Nick Callahan. A headset telephone? And now, Marge, I'd like to welcome you to the family with your very own red blazer. <gasps> For me? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to do my darndest to uphold the principles and ideals this jacket represents. Oh, Dad! Doesn't this car have seat belts? There it is! Wow! Your own billboard! Check it out! And here we have a lovely gourmet kitchen with gas range, central can opener, and foam under flooring for enhanced standability. You know, I've always loved the house you're in now. Really? Well, maybe we should stay put. Thanks for your honesty, Marge. My pleasure. Do you bowl often? Actually, this is our first time. Oh. Well, then you have to ask yourself, is this the right house for you? I suppose not. Marge, I had a lot of calls about you. Customers love your no-pressure approach. But all I did was tell the truth. Of course you did. But there's the truth and the truth. Let me show you. That's a beauty. Forget about that house. That's the murder house. Oh, I remember. Mrs. Astor was very lucky. Well, no one expects you to sell that house. I thought I'd do anything to succeed in business, but bending the truth, I don't know. Ah, so you don't have that killer instinct. Big deal. Well, I can too compete, and I'm going to sell a house. End of story. Kids, your mother's under a lot of pressure. Why don't we let her clear the table in peace? 
you, stupid Turk. Whoa, that's Lil Bandit, and she's in pain. <coughs> hey, that smells like regular. She needs premium, dude. Premium! Dude! The first house I have to show you is, um, a handyman's dream. Because it's so dilapidated. It's awfully small. Well, that about does it for houses in this area. Oh, wait, what about that house? That has a for sale sign. Ooh, that's a dilly. Oh, my diddly eye. Will you look at this place? <gasps> and the price has been slashed repeatedly. It's sure built solid. The kids could scream bloody murder and no one would hear. Is there anything else we should know, Marge? There's the truth and the truth. No! No! If you don't sell a house, you're fired. 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 No. There is absolutely nothing else to tell you about this house. That's good enough for me. Ding, 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 ding. Listen up, everybody. Marge Simpson sold her first house. Oh, oh God. Yeah, very nice. oh, nice. The murder house. Whoa. Wow, oh, now that's something. Booyah. Look, just because everyone who lived in that house was hacked to bits doesn't mean the Flanders will be. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're not, right. But... Who cares? <laughs> okay, Baldy Boy hits wire, head comes off, Lil Bandit rolls to a gentle stop. Oh, Gumba! Oh, why do I even bother? Well, neighborinos, I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye, Ned. If the slightest thing goes wrong with that house, I want you to call me right away. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. Ah! Give me my car, fatty. Gosh, this is my car. You've got to tell them the truth, Marge. The truth. Hi, Marge. <laughs> Guess we gave you quite a start. We were painting Todd's room red. Pretty messy work. <sighs> and I have something to tell you. Wiggum reporting a 318, waking a police officer. This is the murder house? This must be where he dropped the dagger. And this is the butler's pantry where Mrs. Astor concealed herself? I'm glad you're not mad, but I lied to you. And I won't feel right until I return your deposit. We appreciate the offer, Marge, but I think we're going to be very happy here. Oh, oh uh, wow. Oh. Lucky thing we landed on this bubble wrap. Hey, quit hogging. Oh, I'm badly hurt. <laughs> You're one of a kind, Marge. And nobody deserves this more than you. $300 for doing nothing? I feel like such a crook. Don't worry. Gets easier every week. <laughs>